Hey, welcome back. It's Dave, and I am checking out a new water filter from Tier 1. Tier 1 water filters. This is the DGD120 BB Whole House Sediment Water Filter. So it's a 20 by 5. It fits most 4 inch housings. Um, and it is, uh, you can see what it's supposed to be used in place of. It is um, a 2 month or an 8,000 gallon filter, uh, 20 GPM. And it's a 1 micron. Does that say that anywhere? Oh, nominal one, yeah. So, 30-day money-back guarantee. I don't really know how that comes into play. But NSF certified, that's nice. Um, what else do we need to know about this? Micron rating, smaller the micron, the finer the filtration. Anyways, I am used to using the string filter. And I just get the replacement filters from Pelican. This is their Easy Connect compact water filtration system. So um, here's what we've done. I've turned off the water supply and I've uh, released the pressure out of the house. My backyard, one of my backyard um, faucets is the, or um, spigots is the lowest one in the system. So I opened up the sink inside and then I, because there's no, um, I don't have a, a pressure button here what we do have are these little screws so watch this we're gonna have to loosen these anyways when we fill the system back up so there's our if you have a system like this this is your pressure release and this lets all uh, all the air out so you can burp your system and I only have it on the two so my system has a sediment filter chloramine um, and then a, a nature soft this is the um, a, a, I don't know if it, you know it's, it's theoretically a non salt um, water soft. just water conditioner I don't know uh, you know we don't have scale build up as bad as we did before so I guess it's working I hung my wrench back here because I didn't want to see it the reason i didn't want to see it is because anything my kids see they... but it's important to keep handy so this might get um a little a little exciting because remember even though you've turned off your water this is full of water so that's plenty loose but do you see how gross that is our city water i'm in mesa arizona and we've got good water, except we think that pink, there's a pink mold that gets picked up when they open the open up the whole system. It comes uh, from the earth and it just, uh. so we are going to see how well um, this spun filter instead of that string does. I, I don't have any idea. But, uh, oh, and one last thing, before you pull that off, you just want your little catch bin. And so and this might get exciting. So let's see here. Can you see what's going on? And you can see I put the new date on for when our new water filter is going on. All right. And now you can see how just gross that is. Yikes. Let's see what we got. Well, it's been on there for a while. I mean, not a year, but it's been on there six months for sure. It's probably been there just six months. Maybe eight. But look at that. So, what I'd really like, I'm tempted to run, because I don't know that we can get rid of that just with, um, uh, you know the filters it's just a, it's that's a that's a mold that's growing so what i'd really like is to put a uv light and i think uv lights usually go before you know you get to the, usually it'd go after this so it'd go through the filter the sediment filter and all that and then that would be the last step is the uv light but i'd really like to uh see about putting the uv light at the curb you know, at the street, right where our water comes in. So, anyways, um, I'm going to spray some activated chlorine dioxide 
in there just to kill the goop. It's not going to hurt anything. In fact, chlorine dioxide is how they treat our city water. Um, so. All right, and then we need some grease on this blue seal. Let me see if that says that in the instructions. Let's check. Uh, unscrew it, remove it, remove the large O-ring, wipe it clean and set it aside. Discard used filter, wash housing with dish soap, warm water, rinse thoroughly, fill a third with water. Add about one tablespoon of bleach and scrub to disinfect. Uh, that's not really going to help because we've got two more things in there. Um, lubricate O-ring with clean silicone grease. Change O-ring if any damage. Insert O-ring back in the groove. And install new filter couches. Screw housing onto cap and hand tighten. Do not over tighten. Make sure standpipe slips into the cartridge. Of course. Turn on the water supply. And then burp it. So here we go. Clean the O-ring. Okay. Sorry this is off camera you guys. I'm not far away. I'm right there. Okay, clean. Inspect. Okay, it looks good. A little discoloration. It's okay. Our housing body looks good. If you guys are still on this video, it means you're falling asleep. So I hope your nap is lovely. And a little grease, reinstall, that's in nice, and then my chlorine dioxide is my disinfectant, and I don't need to rinse it, because it's killed all the germs, all the microbials, all the, or all the microbes, um, but I don't obviously have high hopes because it's in the whole system, right? So I mean, it, it, my my uh, my nasties are coming in here. I mean, if you reached up in there, I'm sure you could get a fistful of nasty stuff. Where's the inlet? I can't get my finger up to. It. Anyways, it's just part of the fun. It's from when they opened up. Um, they had a, they the, our uh, our street valve was not very. Um, didn't shut off all the way so when we replaced our house main the city instead of replacing the street valve with one that would actually close they, uh, they simply unhooked my system and I didn't know that that was gonna be a big problem so, all right here we go and we just the standpipe is on the bottom see how it's centered very good and then we just hand tighten and that's it so before you turn the water on we really do want to close these guys up I forgot about that so otherwise when we turn it on we have water shooting up to the roof of the garage so we don't have yeah hi sweetie Hold on, we're going to turn on the water. All right, come with me. So, this is the, the valve we had to replace when we remodeled the house. So, here we go. On slow. Remember, the backyard uh, spigot is open, which is the low point in the system. Oh, come on, baby. Here, oh, there we go. And I go really slow so we can avoid a water hammer. Alright. Let's go check out what we got going on. So the backyard spigot's open. I'm just gonna let it flow. It's actually watering a 
blue for the line right now. And then, this is fun. We're going to burp it. Burp it? What? We're burping the air out. Hear it? Oh, now you see the water? Yeah. That's when you know you're burped. So all yeah. the air is out of there. And I'm not cranking it down. No need to be He-Man. There's one on the last one, too. This is going to make a little mess on the floor, but whatever. See water? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Plenty, right? I was trying to get you, but I wasn't shooting, shooting the right way. Maybe next time, right? All right, and then just for good measure, this is totally unnecessary, by the way. Okay. That's what you're looking for. I obviously have a an area I don't really mind getting wet, plus I've got my catch bin. And that, folks, is all there is to it. You've literally watched in real time. I know it's a really boring 11 minutes and 12 seconds, but that's as long as it takes to help get nice, safe, clean drinking water for your beautiful family. So, Tier one, let's check out your filter. Let's see how it works. It is a, uh, I would call it a four by 20, but that's a five by 20. Um, but it goes in a 20 inch housing. I put my little label on there to remind me to change it. And, uh, and you know what, this is a two month filter. So I'm going to say that's unusual for me. It's hard to write this way. Two one. Uh, okay. Huh? What on earth does that say? What does that say to you? 240? Yeah, it looks like 240 to me too. Or ZMO. Anyways, my handwriting aside, that's supposed to say two months. And because this is our house water system, I know this doesn't matter, but it just kind of makes me feel better. It gives me the fizz to see this nice, clean housing. I've already wiped out my pipe, so. Easier way to do this is um, to put a bypass valve. So if you can do a T here, this is our soft water loop. Um, so you could put a T here uh, to shut off um, the water. When You'd want to do one on both sides. Looping? So that's it. It's just going round and round. <laughs> it does. It looks exactly like it's going around and around. So it comes in here. This is actually interesting. This comes in off the street, goes under our slab where we just were, and comes in. And then a three quarter inch line, and we had to go up to an inch. Is that right? Is, that's why I left that on there. Yeah, three quarter, three quarter. Okay, so three quarter line into an inch. And then it goes in the sediment filter, one micron. It goes into the carbon filter, and then it goes to this Nature Soft. Um, um, what, say, what do they call it? Scale prevention. Nature stuff. Anyways, uh, whatever. So, I would like if you know where to put the UV light. Um, I mean, I obviously can't put it at the curb because um, there's no power over there. Gosh, I could run power there. Anyways, would you run the UV light here before it gets to this whole thing, so it just kills all my microbial activity, or maybe run the UV light? I don't want it outside. You know, you're supposed to, from what I see, you're supposed to run it after. So it goes through the sediment, carbon, nature soft, and then you'd go through UV light, then in to the water heater. That poor water heater is going to um, be replaced soon. It's old. So old. if you know, leave it in the comments below. As always, I am grateful that you watch and keep your water clean, keep your family healthy, wash your hands. Oh. It's a five micron filter. So we've gone from five microns to one micron. So we'll see if our water slows down at all. But right now I gotta go to the back patio. Turn off the filter with water or turn off the hose. Okay. It's a low side. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye.